Today, I'm going to show you seven insane free AI SEO tools to get results like you can see right here. Let's get straight into it. All right, so tool number one, right? And this is a tool that I've never seen before. See, I've done like over 500 AI SEO experiments. And what you can see right here is that you can actually compare the playground version of the APIs here versus another API over here, right? So for example, let's say Claude 3.5 Sonnet just came out recently. You can compare that side by side versus say GPT-4.0 and just see, okay, which one's the most expensive, which one's the best pricing, etc. And then not only that, but you can see that most of these APIs are completely free. So I can switch to Gemini 1.5 Pro, and then I can compare the outputs with the same prompt to any other tool that I want to compare, right? Now on the free version, not every single model obviously is going to be on there. But for example, let's say we want to compare Gemini 1.5 Pro versus say Llama 3. Right, I can pull them both up right here, and that's how we get the AI party started. I can even upload images, and then I can test side by side the same prompt. As you can see right here, it literally mirrors the prompt that I've got on both sides. We can hit enter, and we can compare not just the speed of the tool, but also the output side by side. So you can see, for example, Llama 3 is just ridiculously fast compared to, say, Gemini 1.5. It's absolutely outrageous, actually. And... You can also compare the content quality and then make up your own mind, right? So for example, you can run through all of the AI models and see which one fits your style of writing best. Now, I think that's really smart because when it comes to AI SEO, what might be the best tool for one person is not necessarily the best tool for another person, right? Everyone has their own style, I would suppose. And, and when you pull these up side by side, for example, you can see, okay, which one creates the best content? Well, if we were comparing Google versus Meta, yes, Meta is faster, but if we were comparing the headlines, say finding the best SEO tool, you guide to search engine domination, I think that's a much better headline than this one right here. So yes, this is faster, but actually the quality is better here. Additionally, you can see the, the content itself feels a lot more human over here versus the content over here, which is a bit more formal and has less personality. So yes, this is faster, but I would genuinely say the quality over here with Gemini 1.5 Pro is actually better, right? And so... That was just a little example, but you can see all of the other models you can get access to and test directly here. Even like Mistral, some other AI models that most people won't know are on the list. And the fact that you can just mirror the prompts when you type them over here and it pops up over here just saves you a lot of time and helps you compare new features, right? By the way, all the tips, tools, prompts, etc. that I use in this video today, you will get access to at the end of this video. What you can also see is there's... Another tool that I found for video creation with AI is in video AI. So I can go into here and you can see there's actually a bunch of workflows and plugins that we can actually test. So you've got YouTube Explainer, script to video, YouTube Shorts, etc. So if we go to YouTube Explainer over here and we'll say create a 15 second video about SEO, we'll say that 99% of websites don't know how to build backlinks. We'll change the background music to intense, language should be English. You can even choose whether you want a male or female voice, what type of voice you want, and who the narrator is. You can add subtitles if you want, or you can remove them, and you can actually add auto-bold subtitles with pop-in effects, for example. We can add watermark text, so we could say, for example, add Julian Goldie right there. Then you can choose whether you want to use iStock or not, which I assume is like a form of images. You can also choose what sort of audio you want to use. So you can use, for example, the YouTube audio library, Hit continue from here, click generate video, and now you can see that it's generating the video, but it's in a queue, right? So it's going to take a little while to create the video. Now it's thinking about it. I'll actually start the timer and see how long it takes to generate a video with AI. So we're going to hit continue like this. And let's see how long it takes. It's already 11% in after 15 seconds. Now, whilst we're waiting, you might be thinking, okay, why is that useful? Well, number one, you can diversify your traffic so you can get more traffic from YouTube, for example. But additionally, it enhances the power of your content, right? So for example, if you're creating content with your website, the richer you can make it, the more engaging it is, the more likely people are to stay on the page. On top of that, obviously you can rank videos with YouTube SEO as well. So a lot of my videos on my YouTube channel get a lot of their traffic directly from Google search. And if you're creating like linkable assets on your website to attract backlinks to your site, then you can insert these sort of YouTube videos directly into your content. Now, one other thing that I used to use quite a lot 
for SEO was audio link building, right? And I basically create an audio version of someone's blog, message them, say, hey, I created this audio version of your blog. Would you embed it and give them a code with a link to my website as credit? Now you could easily do the same thing with this method right here and say, hey, I created this video for you. Would you like me to send over the code to embed it? It's completely free, but it'll make your content better. And then once they embed the code, obviously the content directly has a link back to your site. So there's many different use cases for this. And if we open this up, noticed, here's why. Websites fail at building back. There you go. There's a video. I'm not going to say it's Julian Goldie SEO level, but it's pretty amazing that you can do that. You might've also seen me do the same thing with Luma Dream Machine. I've got other videos on that, so I'm not going to go too in depth in it, but you can see the sort of video quality we're looking at and it's pretty nice. And that took what, like two minutes to generate the content. Now talking of like audio link building, another powerful tool generate powered by AI is this feature right here. And it's called Suno, right? And basically with one prompt, you can create a song with all the lyrics and the actual music. It's pretty insane. So if I put drill music talking about Julian Goldie's Rolex, we'll hit create right here. We'll create the song right here. As you can see, you can actually choose between different models and now it is generating the song. I'm just going to change the prompt a bit. So I'm going to say drill music talking about Julian Goldie's SEO Rolex paid for by ChatGPT. Now that is a beautiful concept, my friend. Now what you can see is you can actually play the song over here and then you've got the lyrics on the right hand side right here. It's a little bit dark for my liking, but if we pull up the lyrics right here, these are deep lyrics, right? That spiritual stuff right there in the chorus. Backlink stacked, fortunes made, algorithms no delay. It's a lyrical genius right here. Better than the Arctic Monkeys. Now, if you want to listen back to those songs, I'll make them public right here and you'll get access to the end of the video. Next up, we have this AI website designer, right? And so you can see it says, I'm Weejik, the AI web designer and developer by your side. So if we just go for an example prompt, like, can you design a website for my interior design business? He's having a little think. We'll sign in right here and we'll go for a portfolio of random design here even gives us ideas for our name. So for example, like dream space interiors, and then we'll go with the English language, but you can see it has like options for Chinese and Japanese and all that sort of thing. And now you can see here our designed website, which is not too shabby at all. That's actually better than most designs I've seen It's used the name that I actually recommended. Plus it's actually used my name from the account as you can see right here. And then we can just sort of test the website, have a look through it. You can return to the editing mode if you want to switch it up and have a look and we can even have a little tour of our website as you can see we can edit little bits we can change things we can even prompt with this and that's honestly better than most websites out there let's be honest the design itself is not bad at all and then you can actually publish it to a subdomain or you can upgrade and get like the custom domain set up right there but you can easily test the design before you even buy anything which is pretty nice then you can switch between pages over here and then you can hit publish on the subdomain like that if you want to and just get a free website ready to go. Now, another option is Julius, Julius.ai. And over here, this is basically designed to analyze your data, right? So you can click on start. Then for example, you could actually take your data from, for example, your website, your Google search console, being webmaster tools, etc. So we'll download all that data and then we're going to upload that directly into Julius. Now it's uploaded the data. It's kind of, it reminds me a little bit of like advanced data analysis on ChatGPT or code interpreter. And we'll just say something basic, like it visualizes data into useful charts. And what you can see is it's actually taken the data and said, right, I'm going to visualize it in these different ways. Top 10 keywords by impressions, clicks versus impressions, distribution of average positions, and then CTR versus average position scatter plot. Gives us the key observations, then it, visualizes the data right here and you can get more details along the way basically very useful for analyzing data and spreadsheets i haven't tested it too much but i think you could get a lot more out of it so for example if you go to the use cases section on the website and this is a free tool but you can see all the different use cases for it so for example like sales forecasting optimizing marketing campaigns analyzing survey results which would be quite good for like pr link building i bet and a bit of data analysis right here as well. Next up, we have another video tool. 
And what you can do here is you can upload an image and turn that into a video. So if we click generate video here with the image I've uploaded, it's having a little think about it. You can see some examples of images that it's actually generated. You can also do text to video right here, kind of like Luma. And if we hit play, we've got the video ready to go. And there we go, just twiddling my thumbs on stage. I'm going to say that is a little bit underwhelming. But I think if you had more of an action shot, it'd be more interesting. Let's have a look at some of the examples. So you can see, for example, this one or this sunflower right here. You've also got the text to video. Some of these look really nice. Let's try an example. We'll hit generate video, see what it comes up with. So now we have the video back from Vidnos. As you can see, it's better. It's not amazing. I would say this is one of the weakest tools on the list, honestly, from what I've seen. But it's still pretty good that it's free, but it's not absolutely insane. The final tool on the list is stockimage.ai, right? Basically, what you can do with this is you can create number one images, of course, but number two, logos. So, for example, let's say you're setting up a new website, you need a new logo for your website. We can click on logo generate in a dashboard right here. We'll click like something random like wooden logo of a palm tree. And now we have our logos back. We have four different options. We can download the image. And there we have the image ready to go. Pretty crazy. I've paid for people to design logos before. I would honestly say that's better than most logo designers are going to come back to me with. And it took seconds, not days, to generate the output. So thanks so much for watching. If you want to get access to all the tools that I mentioned, the prompts today, even links to the actual songs that I created, then I'm going to take a link to that, plug it inside my free SEO course. Just go to the free SEO tool section, then new free tools, June 24. And the video notes are right down there in the description. And if you want to get access to this free SEO course with 75 lessons on how to do keyword research, link building, you can also see quality control workflows, topical maps, SEO systems, EAT, 200 chat GPT prompts, and everything else. You can get free instant access to that. Links inside the comments and description. And if you want to get a free SEO strategy session about how to get more leads, traffic, and sales of SEO, feel free to book that in links inside the comments and description. And this is a one-to-one -one call where we'll show you how to get more leads, traffic, and sales with SEO to boost your rankings and generate more money for your website. Thanks so much for watching. Appreciate it. Bye.